the peaceful streets of Kyoto, the one place in the world where you can run into a geisha on your way to the grocery store. So here we are today in Miyagawa Cho, which is a famous geisha district, as they're called, uh, not far from the really famous Gion, which is just down the street from here. And today I want to talk to you guys about geisha. What is a geisha? Well, a geisha is an entertainer of sorts, someone who understands etiquette and manners to the utmost degree. And furthermore, it is, they are artisans, they are performers who learn various skills and crafts, such as playing the shamisen, which is kind of like a guitar. Um, and of course, most importantly, they know how to dance. There's a particular way that they dance. And in fact, when a geisha or a young girl becomes a geisha, an apprentice geisha in the first place, something called a maiko, they, um, the first thing they learn is how to dance. In fact, the word maiko literally means dancing girl. Okay, and so today uh, we will meet a geiko, which is actually a fully graduated, like a mature geisha, um, not an apprentice. And so we're gonna meet her, we're gonna get to know her a little bit, and then I'm gonna take some photos of her with my Ricoh GR3, which is not a typical portrait camera. So it'll be a very fun challenge, but I have some ideas for how to you know, photograph and play to the strengths of the camera rather than try to fight against the, the constraints that the camera comes with, all right? So please like the video if you like it and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to get back to you, okay? So we're gonna go to the shooting location next. So here we are at Chiyonsha, which is a traditional Japanese house here in the heart of Kyoto. It's what's called a machia, which literally translates to city house, uh, because that's what it is. It's a house in the city. And uh, this particular one is owned by a gentleman named Kichie Monsan, whose, uh, whose family has owned this house for quite a few generations, I understand. And yeah, we've explored it a little bit. We, we looked around to try to find some good photo spot locations before our beautiful subject arrives. Um, she'll be here really soon, and when she gets here, we're going to jump right into a quick little interview with her to get to know her, and then we're going to start shooting and uh, try to get some great photos of her.女の子として で、ま、お城<笑> のなりましたし、と海外とかからのお客さんがもう一切あのこれ払えへんくなってしまったので、やっぱり祇園の町もちょっと寂しいですね。きっとまあこんな状態もいつかはあの前の生活に戻ると思うので、まあその際は京都に
with a 30th of a second or a 60th of a second between there and there, f2.8. And I left my ISO on auto for now. It'll probably be, a, be around 400 to 800. And I might switch it to fully manual eventually. And I'm using the, um, how do I say, the area select autofocus, the center point, to keep it in the middle. What is it exactly called? The select AF mode. That's what I'm using. And I keep the point right in the middle to make my autofocus simple. Okay, so let's try and see what we can do. Okay, so I'm just going to start with a nice straightforward photo of Hinayu-san in the middle. And yeah, my ISO is not too crazy high in these in this dim lighting. Excellent. Okay. And I'm going to show you a little bit closer, which is a little, you know, not typical for a portrait. But this is where the Rico naturally wants to go because it's a pretty wide angle lens. Okay, and it's looking pretty good. And then the other nice thing I can do with this camera is change the angle. It's easy to shoot a little bit up from above like this. Because now, from above like that, I get a more interesting angle than just from the front. Okay. So, so, so. Very nice. Okay, so maybe we try another spot in the house to just change the location a little bit. Okay? So, let's go to the room. Alright. And I'm going to try to use the daylight. I might turn this light off, but we're going to leave it on for now. Okay. Wow, that actually looks really good. Yeah. There's this lovely shadow behind you know, you as well. Okay, more okay. Alright guys, so yeah, I'm keeping my shutter on only a 30th because luckily my subject is extremely still. But I'm gonna bring it up to a 60th just to be safe. It's the last thing I would want is a, a blurry photo. Of course I have my shake reduction turned on. And then I want to do one with this light off. Alright guys, so we had a little chaos with turning off the lights because the light switches in this building, in this house, are so hidden. But here we are, we have a beautiful lighting situation, gorgeous. And a very natural pose of Hinayu-san. And as you can see, I'm not trying to fight against the constraints of the Ricoh. It's got a wide-angle lens, so I'm not trying to get a full-frame portrait. I'm trying to get an atmospheric portrait and include the wonderful details around. Gorgeous pose. Wow. That's amazing. Wow, there's some beautiful light coming from the, uh, the thing up there, actually. See this light? Let's use that. So, so, so. Alright, guys. So I just banged my head on the on the wooden thing above me, but that's just an occupational hazard. All well, very beautiful. And we'll do a slightly different shot. And you know, he's very good at posing. Joe's at this. <laughs> yeah, very nice. This light is gorgeous. She looks fantastic. So the color is actually coming from a stained glass window that's upstairs. So maybe we'll try uh, shooting that. So I'm going to try shooting from above, guys. Let's see here. Okay, so maybe this is a little too intense. Chotto, ano, mochiron, mabushi desu ne. So, daijoubu desu ka? So, mo skoshi koko de, ano, kono hikari ga kao ni, hai. Okay. So, guys, I'm gonna actually go all the way to like the 5.6. Okay. This is a very tricky shot, guys. Actually. The GR is really useful here because 
it's small and easy to handle in one hand. So here, guys, we have this beautiful stained glass window. And let's see here, let me get my settings. I think from here, yes. So I'm going to use the light that's wonderfully filtering in through the window here. And let's see here. Four, one twenty-fifth. Let's go with that. Hey, all right. There we go. Wonderful. And maybe I can get a reflection on the window here. But it's a little too bright outside. Well, here we go. Yeah, that's great. Here I'll move my focus point so I don't have to keep it on the center. Wonderful. Okay. あ、これが面白い。あ、すごい。ここで。そうそうそう。だからすごい近く撮ります。いや、これはこのちっちゃいカメラメリットです。もうこれできる。大きいカメラでちょっと難しい。そうそうそう。うん。So I was just explaining to you know you that the small camera lets me get close to the glass and then we get a really nice reflection. All right. もう少しここから撮りたい。この Stained glass, today this. So yeah, I mean the stained glass itself actually has a quite a lot of contrast, so it's tricky to shoot, but it's creating a beautiful lighting. And you know, this kind of we say Rembrandt lighting, where one cheek is kind of like a triangle of light here. And all. Ah, ちょっと待って。すごい、ここが影になる。そう、こんな感じ光。彼はレンブラントはすごい有名です。そうなんですね。そうそうそう。そう、今写真家、これはレンブラントライトと言います。そう。こんな感じ。こんな感じ。そう
Okay. There we go, guys. I think I finally nailed it. Took some doing to get the angles and lighting just right. Beautiful. So, これを撮りたかった。これは大切ですね。Okay. I think we got this shot, guys, in this room. Okay? Um, so next, I think we should do the classic shot with the sensu. Sensu this, ne? I'm going to go to f2.8 and the 60th. And then we're going to shoot. There we go. So we have the lovely geisha here, Geiko, in this big room. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to get a little closer. Oh, very nice. Great pose. Very beautiful. And I'm moving the camera around, guys, just to make sure that I can frame around her hair because her hair is dark and the background is light and, and, or dark in some places. So I'm trying to frame around. Very nice. I think I'm going to raise the ISO a little bit. Get a little more color. Or, yeah, magically open the door with my mind. <laughs> no, no, that's great. So Axel behind the camera here, he just popped open the door behind me and actually that was a great idea because I was just thinking it's a little bit dark and that added a whole bunch of color. Very nice, beautiful poses. Gorgeous. And we're having this vignetting all the way around, vignette, so we don't see the room so well. But now I'm going to change the angle up a little bit. Doesn't have to be from the front all the time. Wonderful. Really good. そう、これ。これ好き。ああ、いい感じ。すごい。ちょっと、いや。綺麗、綺麗。これもすごい綺麗です。ああ、いい感じ。うん。いや。ポーズ、すごい。あ、綺麗。いや。綺麗。Very <笑> nice. Okay, let's do a few more with this situation because it's really gorgeous, but I'm going to go a little higher. So I'm going to try shooting from this kind of position, which again, a small camera like this makes it easy to do. Like a bird's eye view. And actually, it shows a very wonderful detail, something I always love whenever I get to meet uh, uh, Geiko or Michael is the kimono, when they sit, looks nice. They don't just, whatever, it's really all the time. So this, ne? It's more. So, this. So they're very careful with details like that. That's the thing about you know the the whole culture of geisha. The details are very very important. Every little thing, and that attention to detail is something worth photographing. So we can get that from this angle. Yeah, very nice. And let's see. Oh yeah, that's nice too. Yeah, that's a very interesting shot. Wow. Gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, this is a very interesting shot. Ah, it's so nice. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So guys, I think we're good uh, here. Maybe we're going to go outside. Niwa de Torimas, okay? All right, let's go. All right, so we're going to go out in the garden. I got these uh, kawaii slippers for me. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's a great idea. So guys, for this place, I'm going to go back to um, aperture mode, I think. No, I'm going to stick to manual <laughs> as soon as I said that. Because I'm going to keep it on 125th, f2.8, and maybe 640 ISO. Let's see, man. Let's take a quick test shot. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Ja, camera wa eto hana ni chikai. Okay. Ah, there we go. 
So what I'm trying to do is create some kind of depth here by having the flowers really close to the camera. Very good. Okay. So come on, do this. Ah, so good. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm going to try more, maybe from above. Yeah, more simple one, because when when uh, she looks up a little bit, the light is very nice coming from above, but from below the light is a little bit harsh. So I'm trying to work with the lighting here. And I like that her kimono is green, so it kind of matches the <laughs> nature, right? そう、あの、多分もみじ穂がいいです。あの、これは上だから上に見たら光が綺麗。そう、この感じは綺麗でも光はちょっとハードです。じゃあ。All right, guys. So here we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. I'm actually impressed with how good that is. Wow. Okay. Wow. So this is where it's a little tricky to see what's on the screen, but Holding the camera up high like this is so easy because it's small. So, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to use the advantages of the camera rather than the disadvantages. Ah, <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. You know, let's try a few more with this tree before we move it on. I'm looking for some kind of a window where I can shoot through the tree to get some bokeh. So basically, you know, with a 28 or actually it's an 18 millimeter lens technically, you're not going to get much bokeh, right? But in the background, I should say, but if you put something in the foreground like I am here, you will get plenty of bokeh at f2.8. Good. So we're gonna go in the tea room. Well, Hina is gonna go in the tea room. I'm gonna stay outside, try to photograph her here. So the challenge here is it is getting a little bit dark. It's kind of the late afternoon. I don't know what time it is. I lost track, but it's like four o'clock or five or something like that. So I'm gonna go down to a 60th and I'm gonna raise the ISO to let's say 2000 and that should be okay. And then once again, I'm gonna need some kind of foreground point of interest. Nice. Okay. Wow. So I'm just trying to put the camera really close into these leaves. Maybe those are too small. Okay. Great. I'm going to be here. And so yeah, I'm using the, like I said, the select focus, so I can tap where she is, instead of like focusing and recomposing. Ah, pose ga subarashi. So she's posing wonderfully. And yeah, I kind of toned down the leaves here with this one. But the idea is, ah, very nice pose. The idea is that she's also green, and it's like a flower amongst nature kind of thing trying to find the spot. The hard part is getting myself into that position without damaging anything here in the garden. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, get the, the framing so it looks like she's just sitting on the edge of the, the branch. So guys, I think that's everything in the garden. I think next step, we're gonna go back inside. But we're gonna do the dance. So we don't have too much time left with Hinayu. All right guys, so we're gonna do the last thing today with Hinayu-san. She's gonna dance for us. And I'm gonna shoot it in a number of ways. I'm gonna try using faster shutter speeds to freeze the moment. And then also, we're gonna, I'm gonna use slower shutter speeds to try to get some of the motion blur.
Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, so that's it for today. We had a wonderful shoot with Hinayu san. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, actually, in Kyoto, we say okini. Okini. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's about it for today. I think the Rico did a great job. I took a lot of awesome photos. There were some challenges along the way, but it turned out pretty good. And so, thank you very much for watching. Please uh, like the video if you enjoyed watching it, subscribe to the channel. And any comments with questions or anything you have, please leave them below and I'll be happy to uh, look through and answer them. All right, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.